Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Mario here, and I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and welcome back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos. And welcome back to more as play of Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, in this case Rio 2016 Olympic Games, if you want to prefer coin up tradition. So either way, yesterday we actually did play a bit of on um, beach volleyball, and I found that event quite decent overall. And also we actually did play a bit of on swimming, and we also did manage to compete in some boxing match. And then uh, we actually did pretty flawlessly nonetheless though. So um, yeah, every time when you're actually trying to win something for those events, there's one thing we haven't mentioned. That time you actually get yourself some currency, like coins and rings, such as like coins represents for Mario's currency collectibles, as well as rings um, for a Sonic franchise. And by the way, if you talk to Lakitu, you actually get yourself some bunch of rewards, such as like, again, coins and rings. In order to do that, you need to collect a, a quite a lot of gold medals if you actually got to be anticipation for tournament gate, as you can tell from down the far right on the main menu. So um, today, we're going to be um, playing through the um, one of the Dawn variations of these main three events that we actually did play from before. But I think first things first though, we need to hit into Dual Beach Volleyball and, and um, but even then though, no, it's a bit of a giant re replacement from, um, from um, the Dream events from the previous games. So even then though, no, that um, some people might actually be quite disappointed with how the Dream events hasn't been entirely removed. But either way though, so um, yeah let's get started and as you can tell we actually set our points count to 150 points. And then, um, yeah. So, um, after we actually did done a brief on, um, Dual Beach Volleyball, then we may actually go ahead and briefly tackle through Equestrian, and as well as some um, Rhythmic Gymnastics Clubs for a brief moment. So, um, either way, though. So, first off, we're gonna be hitting to Dual Beach Volleyball, and let's pick Yoshi and Donkey Kong for this event. Because, after all, since we actually used Rouge the Bat as the guest arm character in the original version of Beach Volleyball, so even then though, this event is pretty much exactly the same as the previous Sun version, but except the noticeable difference is, oh, we're competing against with uh, Metal Team Metal Sonic alongside with myself. So, um, either way though. So, this event is very similar to the does it for the Beach Valley Ball, the original version of it. But except the noticeable difference is, is that we're taking place in, not in the Mario and Sonic place this time around, which is unfortunate. But it was actually takes place in, um, some of a nice little, um, place to look at. Like, uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of, uh, Mario and Sonic stands, as you can see. So that, that actually represents, it kind of reminds me of, um, the Rio Carnival thing from, um, it kind of reminds me of that from the Rio movie for... I don't know what it is. And also, the worth knowing for is that the only difference is here that, um, oh yeah, you can perfectly see those other me characters wearing their actual Rio clothings and all that, which is pretty nice to look at. And, um, even then, though, somehow the audience on the, on the crowdings are always still in 2D, like a 2D sprites and all that. But either way, though. So as you probably guys to expect it, that we have ourselves an item system. Very similar to how it does it in London 2012 and in the Olympic Winter Games and not to mention on the, on the, re on the original game. But um, yeah, you do have their very specific items that you can use for this um, particular event. Like for instance, there is Motorbug, as well as the Red Shell can actually home into these opponents. And I believe the motorbike can actually aim onto the specific direction of what the, um, you actually get yourself some points from. So yeah, you can tell that the door variations of those events has a gimmick. Like, um, as you can see on the top of the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner of the screen, um, this way, this allows you, this allows these opponents to actually get yourselves a, a door points. Every time when you go do a specific um, um, thing, so you can do with the um, that you can do with um, the um, you know with the dual points and all that, this allows um, players can actually obtain those points if they actually got some of those points in the on um, the bar right there. Or in this case, the um, some of this stuff from here. And then once you actually let the um, if you actually do um, 
specific stuff like shooting some items, mainly the fireballs, for instance, for Donkey Kong. It's weird that how well. Oh, dang it! If we should just go aiming for that rather than just actually letting Donkey Kong grab that. But yeah, I bet again, much like the ones in the original Beach Volleyball, I found this to be a lot harder to actually try to win it. Or plus, it might be really difficult to actually get hands on with this. Because usually, usually in us anyway, has to deal with this asinine task. Like, I'm pretty sure that because of the, um, the AI is really, really damn good at it. Oh, jeez, 101. Even then, we're really far behind right now. But either way though, sometimes the AI is really, 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 really good at this event specifically. But you still have retained yourself some abilities like some little panels just like how it does it from before. But this time however that we're actually going to be doing with on those two things, mainly the item system and the usual things and like stuff like that. So, a few things we want to mention about certain certain things is that recently, or in this case yesterday, that we have seen a new Pixar film which was just recently released uh, during recently, which, as you guys can tell from the title, is Finding Dory. And for what far I've seen it, I really, really, really enjoyed it. And um, no matter the fact though, it's, it's been 13 years since the first Finding Nemo came out. Like, it's insane. Yeah, I know, right? But um, even then, I've really enjoyed it, like, really, really a lot. Okay, so we got, literally, we got 21 points to go. And then if we actually um, win by this point, then we can actually just, hopefully, we've got for there to win it. Eh? But it's all dependent on that, um, the AI is really, really damn, like, rubber banding or something like that. Or, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe we just kept on thinking about, um, oh, jeez, we got six points to go. If we, if the other opponents get a, way too many points, and then if they actually won by that, uh, we're pretty much going to be losing for that event. Especially when there was like, um, they're using the lightning mostly. Yeah, if, you, if the opponents starts using the lightning ability, uh, this allows uh, these, um, you know they saw um, Sonic the Hedgehog based enemies from um, what these octopus looking um, enemies? Well, that's how they, um, that's how they actually spewed out some projectiles, and then if you get hit by that, oh no! Oh shoot! We lost by six points. God, dang it! Oh well, we'll take second as it is. Strangely enough, though, there's no tournament table and all that from this particular event. Although, the only time it only happens, it was on the tournament gate, but I digress though. But god damn, we were 6 points off by winning that. I know, right? So let's just move on to Equestrian. So, and for this um, particular event, we're going to be using is the new playable character, is Larry Cooper. And much like Windy Co Windy O Cooper, that um, his first appearance in Super Mario Bros. 3, so you guys should know what we're talking about from that part. And this and this equestrian event takes place in uh, Olympic um, Equestrian Center. Yeah, because it has like a bunch of sand and all that. So that's how this event works. Unlike the ones in London 2012 Olympic Games that you're gonna have to mainly deal with the timing base or time based. But in this event though, in this variation of the on um, the equestrian event, rather than dealing with time, instead it was actually um, heavily focused on points based. Which is quite okay for that little um, difference in um, difference between the um, the gimmicks and all that. But I at least I just usually just kind of prefer this version over the time version because sometimes whenever I just did that too early or mainly I just prefer the um the Wii version of Equestrian on uh, London 2012 as opposed to the 3DS's uh, 2012 um, Equestrian because the only bothering thing about that is that you have to use the gyroscope control and until you actually just to let the horse jump over but even then I found it quite quite embarrassment but either way though so um yeah this um this in variation although you still actually come across into those obstacles so you can jump through or even essentially avoid them but even then though that the entire rules is exactly different compared to london 2012 
And then as you reach to the end of the goal, then you actually get yourselves additional more points so that you can actually catch up to your points amount. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So yeah, um, now we're going to be done with that, and now let's move on to the last events of this video will have to be Gymnastics, aka Horrific Clubs. Because you can tell that Amy is actually going to be holding those specific clubs. So, yeah, we constantly use that specific word. But either way though. So the character we'll be using, as, as you expected on screen, is Rosalina. And she's first appearance in Super Mario Galaxy, obviously. So this takes place in Rio, Olympic, or the... Oh, frick, what am I just going to say? Anyway. So, um, as you expected, that you can actually choose either one of those four songs, just like how it does it for a figure skating event, including a Rhythmic Ribbon on London 2012, that, um, although this time around though, rather than just actually picking just only one song, but you can actually, um, not only you can choose only four songs, but you can also choose what difficulty you'll be selecting. Like, right now, we already got about all three of those, um, difficulties unlocked, such as easy, normal, and hard, but the ones we haven't unlocked though, such as Expert difficulty, and let me tell you, Expert and Hard are gonna be tough as hell. But even then though, I think we should probably stick with um, Easy and Normal. But either way though. So we can choose either from the New World, or the Via del Palestino, I can't remember exactly what the pronunciation of the second song was. And there's also Super Bell Hill from Super Mario 3D World, and that was essentially a remix version or reach for the stars from Sonic Colors. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. So, um, yeah, so let's get this started, and then, uh, yeah, this takes place in Rio Olympic Arena. Kind of sad that how it does not support, it does not feature, um, trampoline event. I kind of feel sad about it. So it looks like, well, Mario's gonna concentrate doing this. Look at her little, um, movement right here, especially with her new look. Especially with her new clothing. I think Reach for the Stars on this specific event is by far the hardest of the bunch, just because you might accidentally miss, if uh, miss some of your notes and whatnot, because you can tell Mario just actually just missed some of these notes right and whatnot. I think the, um, the score that we need to beat though is Luigi, that he has like 17 points something points. But basically, this is how this event works, you can do, um, you know, there's no motion controls here near this time, as we said earlier, countless times. But instead, you can actually deal with, um, those two buttons, mainly the A button, although occasionally the B button has certain songs throughout the, um, depends on what difficulty you select. And there's also a D-pad functionality that you can actually use as well. So, um, yeah, that's how this works, basically. So, if you actually just to let those stars get into one of those lines, then that's how you're essentially going to deal with the timing for those notes. And as you can tell, I'm not doing pretty good at the moment right now. But yeah, yeah, if you come across into, actually, if you, um, if you be accurate with your timing and whatnot, and do some, a lot of combos and all that, then the more of the points you actually ranked up from. So, yeah, that's how that event works. Okay, so let's see how much um, points we actually off by. God dang, Louis! Oh, I think it's um fourteen points, seven hundred and ninety-six. But even then, I was off by one hundred something points. Well, I guess that might be a second lose then. Oh well. But I guess that's enough for um today. So um. I haven't really talked about Finding Dory though, but we won't spoil for the end though, because even then though, you have to go see for yourself. But either way though, but I found that film really, really enjoyable, I'll just say that much. So anyway, so next time on Let's Play Mario, or tomorrow, on Let's Play Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games for the Nintendo Wii U, is that we might actually go ahead and do dual rugby sevens, including 4x400 meter relay, including a javelin throw as well, so that we can actually just notice that, how to actually notice that. We will talk about the medal counts until tomorrow and during the actual Olympics, so yeah, see you guys then. Later, fellas.